Hi Engineering Janta, I am Vaibhav Shukla and today we'll be talking about top 5 projects of machine learning. Look, a lot of students had asked me that we want some good projects to add into our resume, we need some projects in machine learning that we can build and we can actually learn hands-on things. So to resolve that, I decided I'll pull out the best projects, the best five projects, which can help the students out, which can actually help you gain good skills, realistic skills in machine learning. And alongside that, a lot of industry people have already built these projects. So you will have a careful respect, a very valued dignity inside the interview when you will present these projects. A lot of freshers won't have these projects because these are not very prevalent projects in various YouTube videos, fine. These are the projects which are actually helpful for industry, which matter to industry and henceforth you should learn specifically how to implement machine learning through these projects. These will help you out for that and in this whole video, I will not be speaking any unrealistic thing. Everything that you get here would be specifically helping you to get into the industry, fine. So straight away without wasting any time, I will dive in deep. But before that, go ahead, follow me on this social media handle, which is my Instagram account at Shuklaji Speaks. You can go here and you can simply follow me and I can resolve your queries directly there. So moving to the first project, Wildlife Object Detection System. This project has been a lot of time discussed in various various interviews and a lot of people who have been selected in good profiles have made this. This is a very easy to make project but very useful. You can actually get a hang of ML and this is a basic project of ML. This is not very advanced project but this actually gives interviewer an idea that yes you have worked hard. So what you have to do is create a python application to analyze incoming images and identify wild animals. Microsoft has already built an image recognition API using data collected from wildlife cameras. You can use that data set. They've released an open source pre-trained model for this purpose called Mega Detector, fine. And this Mega Detector model already which has been released by Microsoft can be used to build this project. And you can use this pre-trained model to identify the wild animals using a python code and that would help out any forest department you can present it like that. It is a good project, initial project but gives you immense learning. Fine. Moving forward, the second one is sale forecasting system. Now let me tell you one thing. This particular project belongs to this family, time series forecasting. Fine. And if you are having any project from this family, in your resume as a fresher, you're highly, highly contributing to the industry. You can think that because industry wants such people who have worked on such realistic projects, such capstone projects, fine. So here you use the past data to predict future sales, fine. This has a large number of business use cases. The Kaggle demand forecasting data set can be used to practice this project. To predict sales, you can try out various methods which are vector autoregression, deep learning, ARIMA and one method you can use any of these you can use for this project where you actually measure the increase in sales in each month. You record it, you accordingly visualize it and then you give the difference between the previous month and the present month sales and on that basis you give a predictive outcome. You do the predictive modeling what kind of sales would remain in the upcoming quarters, fine. So this particular project can be found in many resumes number one a lot of people have built this project let me tell you out of the five projects this is the only project which has been built a lot of times and still is in demand because this project gives you opportunities to implement most of the core fun functionalities of machine learning so that is why it is highly important fine moving ahead on the next topic which is from healthcare so you can make n number of prediction systems for example diabetes prediction system not just this you can build lung cancer detection you can build breast cancer detection a lot of detections using computer vision can be built but here for diabetes prediction system what you have to do is you have to take variables like bmi age and insulin and the model will predict diabetes in patients basically you have 
this data set on Kaggle only, fine. And here you have nine variables, eight independent variables would be there like BMI, age, insulin, etc. And one target variable, which is diabetes. This is the target variable, whether it is diabetes positive or negative. So you will predict one for the presence of diabetes and zero for the presence of non-presence of diabetes or the absence of diabetes, fine. For absence, you give zero. For presence, you give one, fine. So this is a classification problem. There are two families in machine learning itself, fine. And in machine learning, you have one is regression, fine. Another one is classification. And when regression didn't solve a few problems, then classification arrived. And classification problem is mostly such problem where you classify either it is present or it is absent. Any classification, any categorization where it is happening, then it is a classification problem. And henceforth, if you see, this is a classification problem to experiment with models like logistic regression. Now see, logistic regression, decision tree classifier or random forest classifier. All these three classifiers are often asked in interviews. If you have implemented any one of them, you will get the core crux of classification that would help you out a lot in the interviews when you sit for any of the ML profiles, fine. Alongside that, this will also give you a good hang of supervised learning, how it happens, fine. It also gives you a good hang of feature engineering using these independent variables. So it is a very good project and you do not usually have a lot of computer vision application in this. Otherwise, generally, when you build any kind of disease detection, you use a lot of open CV, you use a lot of computer vision, but here it is not like that. Here it is not like that, fine. Here you are just using various independent variables to predict one target variable, fine. And here you will use logistic regression, decision tree classifier. Such classifications would help you gain deep insight in the core functionalities of ML. You will have a clear distinction why regression can't be used, why classification is necessary, fine. I'll go further and I'll show you another one which is Spotify music recommender system. So when you're building it, you what you can do is you can use the data set on Kaggle. It is available for free. It has around 600,000 rows. And using these data sets, you can suggest the best alternative to each user's favorite musician. Fine, for example, somebody's fond of AR Rahman. Fine. So you can tell that person that, okay, Eli Raja can be a good alternative. However, a lot of people would disagree, but I'm just giving you an example, fine. So, or somebody who's fond of listening, Eli Raja, one can tell SP Bala Subramanian, fine. So, SP Bala Subramanian, sir, can be a good alternative, fine. So, this recommender system can be built using K-means clustering. Now, let me tell you, this is an unsupervised learning problem, fine. Here, you'll use clustering and similar data points will be grouped together. You can recommend songs with a minimal intra-cluster distance between them to the end user. Now, what is this minimal intra-cluster distance? When you build this project, you will realize this is a very important term and often asked in interviews. Henceforth, one should know this if you're sitting for an ML profile. And how would you know this? By building such projects, as simple as that. That is why I was telling you, Whatever projects I would tell you would be relevant to industry, would give you value in your resume. I'm not telling you the projects that are just for fun, that would make you look cool in the college. No, that's not my purpose. We should have such projects which actually make impact when I sit for an interview. As simple as that. Fine. Once you've built the recommender system, you can also turn it into a simple Python app where you can use this model and deploy it and you can get your favorite recommendations. So th that is being one more project and henceforth coming to the last project, YouTube comment sentiment analysis. Now a lot of influencers nowadays, if you see a lot of influencers are facing backlash, some are facing very good reputation, people are hailing them that they are very good YouTubers, some are being absolutely bashed that they are not good their content was good earlier, now they are not good. So for all of them, you can build a sentiment analysis model and create a dashboard to visualize sentiments around celebrities over time, fine. You scrape the comments of the videos by the YouTubers you want to analyze. 
you use a pre-trained sentiment analysis model this is also a very simple project because it is using a pre-trained model to make predictions on each comment you visualize the model's predictions on a dashboard and then you check over time how the popularity of one influencer or a YouTube personality has increased or decreased. Have people positively reacted towards him or ha they have a negative uh, notion about him? You can predict using the model. You can visualize it on the dashboard and you can even create a dashboard app using libraries like Dash or Shiny. Now Shiny is a library which is used in R. Dash is a library which is used in Python. Using them, you can create a predictive output where you can check what is the overtime reputation of a YouTube personality and how it can go further and impact further. Fine. So these are five good projects that can help you out in your resume. If you liked it, go ahead, spread it as far as you can. If you need or if you feel that yes, there is somebody who needs this information, go ahead, spread this information. Fine. Video share karna ya nahi karna, knowledge zaroor share karna, that is important, fine. Alongside that, top three comments can stand a chance to win Prep Insta Prime subscription for free and we have recently done giveaways. So keep trying, you might get your luck in your favor and you might get this free subscription. Alongside that, follow me on the Instagram handle so that I can help you out directly if you ask me queries and follow all our social media handles so that you never miss any hiring update from our side. Whatever good you've learned in this video, go ahead, spread it in the society. Whatever bad you felt was there in the video, leave it with me. Mere gun le jana, av gun chhod dena. As simple as that. And with that note, I'll simply say, keep doing good for others. Good will come back to you in multiplied forms. Have a wonderful day ahead. Bye-bye.